So this situation is absolutely getting out of control, and it's probably only going to continue getting worse. And for those of you who don't know what's going on yet, let me walk you through what is currently happening. A few days ago, me and a few of my team members were watching a Big Fry TV live stream, as we sometimes do, and he was playing a game called Venator. After a few minutes of watching him play this game, we started to realize that parts of the game looked really familiar. Too familiar. And as we continued watching, we started to realize that that was because a huge portion of the Venator game was made using our work from our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop. And the crazier thing is the game Venator is currently being sold for $40, whereas our game, which they took our assets from in order to make their $40 game, is completely free on Steam. And for those of you that follow my channel, you'll probably know that this is particularly frustrating to me because... One of the reasons that I made my game and that I made my game free is because our community was really, really annoyed with game developers making essentially asset flips and then charging $30, $40 for those games. And we were like, well, that's ridiculous. We could make some of these games ourselves completely for free. And maybe if we make a game like Operation Harsh Doorstop that's completely for free, then people are going to stop getting scammed by other development studios that are making really low effort games and charging $30, $40 for them. So imagine my surprise when I find yet another low effort game that the developers are trying to get people to buy for $40 that doesn't just consist almost entirely of marketplace assets, but also has our assets that they have taken from our game without permission and used in their game which they are currently selling for $40. But here's the thing about this video, because you might think that everything I've just said is pretty bad, but it gets worse. Because what really set me off about this situation wasn't just the fact that they were taking our assets from a free game to use in their game, which is $40. I mean, that's pretty bad. But what was worse was their response to us when we asked them to take our content out of their game, which they were selling for $40. And and you got to stick around for this one because this this is just like top tier insanity. So after our initial email where we politely but firmly requested that they remove our content from their game, We got a response from their development team that they couldn't find the license agreement between our studio and theirs that gave them permission to utilize our work in their game. And I mean, yeah, the the reason you can't find a license agreement between our two studios where you are allowed to use our work in your game, you're not going to find it because it it doesn't exist. It does. We don't have one. We don't. It doesn't exist. (laughs) And so we explained this to them, and we also went a little bit further showing all of the assets that they were using from our game in their game, just clarifying the matter a little bit. And then we got another email that we really didn't expect. And even now, I'm still having trouble mentally processing. So there's a lot to unpack in this first email, and and there's another one after this. So this is, this is not the end of this saga. But a lot of the things that are mentioned in this email, and there might be a little bit of a language barrier here, seems like they're trying to justify taking our assets for a variety of, of real mental gymnastics reasons that is, is, is difficult for me to understand how anyone would think that this is okay. (laughs) The first part of this email basically calls into question whether we even really are the owners of these assets. And I, I think maybe they're insinuating that we purchased these from a marketplace and they purchased the exact same marketplace asset as us. And I wanna just nip that in the bud. These assets are ours. 
And I know that this is really hard for some people to comprehend because I've seen this accusation floating around about us online where people are like, oh, well, Operation Harsh Doorstop is an asset flip because I don't think anybody can truly like accept that a community of people would actually come together to make a completely free game that they actually made themselves, which we did. But people, for some reason, they just can't comprehend that we actually made our own game. Do we do have some assets that we've purchased from a marketplace in our game? I mean, yeah, but like a, a, a very small minority. The vast, vast majority of our game was, in fact made by hand by ourselves. And as much as I, I think people love to throw around the asset flip accusation at projects like ours that aren't actually an asset flip, I think the best way for people to realize that we're not an asset flip is going to be the hard way when you steal our assets and you find out real quick, legally, that they are ours and we do have the right to have you not put them in your game. But regardless of this reality that our assets have been taken and they're in somebody else's game, the rest of this email from this developer just attempts all of these strange mental gymnastics to justify why they should be allowed to have our assets in their game. One of the things that they call into question is like, the distribution of our modding kit on the Epic Game Store, which they have said that somehow they were able to get without agreeing to the EULA that comes with it. And, and I want to shut that part down real fast, too. If you were able to download our SDK without somehow agreeing to the EULA, that does not automatically give you rights to those assets and just gives you free reign to put them in your own game. You know what that's called? It's called piracy. Like, if I went online and just straight up pirated Battlefield 2042 without agreeing to their terms of service, that's not like, whoa, I found a loophole there and now I can use all of EA's assets in my own game because I pirated it. That's... That's a stupid argument. And the rest of this email is basically more of the same strange mental gymnastics and trying to bargain instead of just saying, oh, hey, these are your assets and you have confirmation of this. Our bad. We'll start the process of taking these out of our game immediately. That's, that's what this email should have been. But I think what's even more disturbing than this email is their community that immediately started coming to their defense in their Discord server, in YouTube comments, coming up with just the strangest, most mind-numbing arguments regarding why this studio should be allowed to make a $40 game using our assets that they ripped from our game without our permission. And without going into detail about all of them, I do want to crush some of the more trending theories slash arguments of why this shouldn't be this game developer's fault regarding how the, our assets somehow ended up in their game. The first hypothetical argument defending this studio, and again, I, I want to clarify that the official studio that still has our assets in their game has not stated that this is the reason why, but their community has, for some reason, thought up this potential excuse. And that excuse is, well, maybe they hired somebody else to make assets for their game, and that person stole assets from Operation Harsh Doorstop and passed it off as their own work. And look, on one hand, I totally understand that. I myself have to do a lot of work vetting all of the people that we hire to work on Operation Harsh Doorstop to ensure that they are, in fact, making their own content. There's a lot of fraud out there. There's a lot of people who are willing to steal and pass things off as their own work. And that's why we have to work overtime to make sure that that doesn't happen. And it, it even has 
happened before where we've hired somebody and we found out either because somebody else told us that they were ripping assets from other games or we just found out ourselves. And in every situation when that has happened, we haven't gone, oh, well, you know, maybe we should be allowed to use this asset in our game because it wasn't our fault. We have immediately removed that person from the team and any content that they contributed to the game, we immediately either took out of the game or replaced with something that we made ourselves with our other team members. That's how you should respond to this. If they did hypothetically hire someone else to make assets and that person stole our content and that's how our content ended up in the game, I get it. Lots of fraudsters out there. Take our stuff out of your game. That does not allow you to magically have it in your game. Just because someone else that you hired did it does not mean that you can continue selling your game with our work in it. And, and for anyone to think anything other than that is insanity. When this, when this all comes down to one single thing, it's take our stuff out of your game now. It doesn't matter who's at fault. It doesn't matter how it happened. Stop selling your game immediately until our stuff that's in your game is removed. P period? Period, right? But this is where this situation goes into overdrive because we respond to this email, which is almost purely mental gymnastics trying to justify why they have the right to, you know, use our content in their game that they're selling for $40. I'm getting a little bit fed up, and I'm just trying to break it down to them. Look, take our stuff out of your game. If you cannot do that in a very quick time frame, then stop selling your game until you can take our stuff out, or I'm going to have to get our lawyers involved. And instead of his next email being like, okay, you know what? This is all a misunderstanding. We'll immediately take the stuff out of our game and we want to find a resolution, his next response is, I'm going to start striking your videos on YouTube as well as the videos of other YouTubers that were defending you, and I want you to apologize to me for, for I guess, him taking our content and having our content in his game without permission, or he is going to file a lawsuit against us. And... and Yo. Yo. What parallel universe did I fall into where you have grown ass people that think like this? And you know what's sad? And this is something that's really just been whittling down on my faith in humanity. This dude is not the first person that I have encountered that thinks like this. A lot of people, for some reason, have these insane mentalities that make no sense and are, are almost entirely selfish. And, and all of their justifications and all of their arguments are just mental gymnastics for them to get away with doing things that are either borderline illegal or actually are. And it's, it's insane. In fact, it's very similar to a previous video that I made where you had people straight up ripping content out of Modern Warfare and putting it up on Steam. And somehow they had very similar arguments where it's just... What parallel universe did I fall into? Someone tell me. Please. Please. So... Here is the situation as of now. The last email I sent back is, we're just going to be working with our lawyers to resolve this matter. This is an absolute insane situation that is being instigated by a group of people making a game that have an absolute insane mentality. And unfortunately, there is a lot of people, apparently, in the industry that do things like this, that think in this way, and try to justify things that are just so incredibly wrong that it boggles my mind that anybody, anyone, could try 
to justify this behavior. And on a separate note, I want to talk a little bit about the experience that our team has had since launching Operation Harsh Doorstop. Operation Harsh Doorstop is a game that we wanted to make for free, not because, oh man, maybe we could make so much money if we created like a free-to-play game with microtransactions. Like We just wanted to have a game for ourselves, for our own community that we could play without being harassed by crazy developers or being milked by greedy companies. That That is the only reason Operation Harsh Doorstop is free. It is a safe haven for ourselves and our community to finally play a game without people like this harassing us. And ever since we have launched our game with that mentality where it is completely free and anybody can play it, we have gotten just a barrage of hatred. I don't want to say it's all been hatred. We've had a lot of people that have supported us and have really helped out and have seen our mission and our vision and have helped us realize that ultimate vision. There's a lot of positivity, but there's also a lot of negativity, a lot of harassment, and a lot of that harassment and hatred has come from people like this. People that just have the ability to perform these insane mental gymnastics where it doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't matter how pure or good our intentions are. And it also doesn't matter how evil and sick other people's intentions are. People have the ability, apparently, to just justify anything. And it is getting to a point where that mentality is so systemic that, I mean, on a bigger scale, I don't think it's just deteriorating the integrity of the game development industry. I think it's getting to the point where it's just deteriorating the integrity of society in general. Like, seriously, every single time I I run into these situations, I'm just like, humanity's doomed. Like, this is, it, it is just getting to a point where we just cannot function as logical, reasonable beings. Like, we just can't function. And as time has gone on, I have gotten more and more paranoid about defending our community and defending ourselves from this invisible force of crazy people that are out there who want to steal and hurt and and destroy just for the sake of doing it. Either they're just greedy or they're just angry people in general or they just want to see the goddamn world burn. And it's just, oh my God. This is just, it's just another, it's just another one of, of, of those situations again. And uh, I, I mean, I guess it's never going to stop. Which, you know, on one hand, it's entertaining. And on one hand, it's like, wow crazy people that's that's fun but on another hand it's like dude there's too much of this going around man like we as a species are not going to survive if there is like a critical mass of people like this in the world (laughs) um and i want to wrap up this video by saying this if you are somebody that is making a game or let's say even further, you're a marketplace asset developer or just a developer in general. I think this is a situation you should pay attention to because some of these mental gymnastics that I'm seeing in order to justify taking our content and then selling another game with our content without our permission, I've seen this exact same mentality running rampant in other places. And if you're the kind of developer that makes a living you know, selling assets on a marketplace or making a game. This kind of mentality, this thing that's happening to us right now is the kind of thing that is going to ultimately destroy your way of life. You know, because by this same logic, if these people have the ability to just freely use parts of our game to make their game that they can then sell without our permission, then what is to stop them from taking your marketplace assets that you're selling on the Unreal Engine marketplace without permission, without paying for it, 
pirating marketplace assets and using them in their games. I actually see that a lot. What What is to stop them from going into something like Squad, downloading all of the buildings from there, changing around a few polygons, and then bam, wow, just making a Squad knockoff? It, that The crazy thing is, is I think a lot of people were like, oh, that's what Operation Harsh Doorstop's going to be. He's going to like steal everybody else's assets. And, and we didn't. We made the game from scratch ourselves. But you have other people out here who actually are doing this, who are straight up taking other people's work and profiteering off of it. And, and if that is not one of the main things that Operation Harsh Doorstop was built to stand against, dude, I don't even know what is. This is insane. So as of this moment, I've already talked to my lawyers. We're going to be starting to figure out options. I, I don't want to sue anybody. It's expensive. It's exhausting. I've got other things that I got to worry about, primarily making our game, which is something that I would rather spend all of my time and energy doing, not filing lawsuits against people in the EU that are ripping our assets and selling it, you know, like that's just not fun. But it's at this point where people are just so brazen about this, where they're just coming out in the open and doing this to other studios. I I almost feel like I have to do this. And I'm going to spend the next few days, if not the next week, planning and figuring out what the next path is legally And then, unfortunately, we're going to have to crack down on this behavior. And I'm sure this guy is going to try and fight back and file DMCA claims and take down videos and all sorts of other stuff. But if we're at a point now where we're going to let people like this do things like this, then society's doomed anyways, right? So I kind of have to take a stand. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I will keep you updated on this situation. Please spread the word about this situation. I could use every ounce of help that I can get. I really don't want to have to pay for a lawsuit in order to resolve this matter, but if I have to, I will. But I'm hoping if our community believes in what we're doing and you all also agree that this behavior of this studio is abhorrent, then we can Shut this behavior down right now and just nip this problem in the butt. Because the more that we allow people to do this, the more this situation is going to just get worse across the entire industry continuously. So, yeah. All right. That's it for me for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.